Hello and welcome back everybody. So in the last episode we just took Thessalonica and this other city and we defeated our rival Macedonia. In this episode we're probably going to be moving out east into Asia and going after the Greeks in Rhodes. Uh, we're currently at peace with Greece and we have no we're not at war with anybody right now so um, that's gonna change pretty soon but we have also got a lot of rebels in our territories and around our territories so I wanna go ahead and take care of the rebels and the pirates and just clean up a little bit put a lot of watchtowers down and stuff like that but uh, we'll see some epic battles too I think in Rhodes and, and as well so let's go ahead and take a look at our new city here there's 1200 people we're gonna up the tax rate for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and just merge up my army and now go and retrain it looks like there's a blacksmith here so we'll be upgrading our equipment as well as uh, refreshing our units and I'm gonna go ahead and get some peasants too and that lowered our population quite a bit I think I'm gonna get sewers and our health and happiness alright let's just get this guy backing off All right, let's fight this one on the map. Don't want anybody getting winded. Just go ahead and start throwing the javelins at these uh, hoplites let's get all my infantry to double time just a little bit alright they're coming at us let's go ahead and reform my infantry like this double time I'm gonna get my equites to hurry up over here. We should be able to do a little bit of damage to the hoplites. And you know what? They're marching in front of the rest of their army, which is great for us. So I'll be able to hit them from behind. Let's just get my infantry to charge. Get my cavalry, and we'll take out this hoplites in short order. Yeah. Now they're already retreating. We'll get we'll go and attack these peasants next. Let's make sure we're charging them. We go after their peltists. Let's go infantry. Go after their cavalry. Get their peltists back up a little bit. I wanted them to flee, but it looks like they're fighting. But we're doing alright. What are our 11 Triarii doing? They haven't died yet. Alright. Get my Velites out of missile mode. Just everybody charge. The enemy show that. All right, pretty good victory. Lost 49 guys, but not bad. Well, we're down to eight Triarii. I want to keep this <laughs> unit around. I've had them for a very long time. Uh, they were a reward from the Senate for uh, completing a mission, and now there's just eight of them left. And I will merge this group as well. Retrain some of the guys. 
I'm gonna have to keep training peasants for a while just to try to keep my tax rate high and be able to get my troops out of there. Alright, I'm gonna have my agent uh, probably head out and check out Byzantium. It's probably gonna be my next targeted city. And I think I'm gonna go and try to build some watchtowers. So build the tower. Gives me pretty good visibility. I'd like to get one up here. Well, I'll just lower the tax rate. We'll do that. I'm gonna go over here on this mountain. Build another tower. There we go. And then maybe over here next turn. Alright, Apollon Apollonia. I think, uh, let's see what I, what do I want to get? I think I'm just going to get sewers. Helps with the population growth and helps them be healthier. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, what do we got? We're being attacked over here by the pirates. Let's see if we can win. We did. All right, not too bad. We lost a few guys, but uh, we're getting some experience. All right, we've got a new leader. His name is Opius Brutus. He's got a lot of influence. He's got a lot of different traits. He's judgmental. That gives uh, increased public security, but increases unrest. He's got political animal. So he's giving us a bonus to influence and popularity with the Senate. He's unusual, which also gives influence. He's good looking and more influence. And firm personal morality, also more influence and more unrest. So he's he's not going to be a very good governor because he's going to increase the unrest quite a bit. Now he's over in Athens right now. Imperator. You're just gonna take a little break from fighting and conquering Amulius and build some watchtowers. This fleet was headed out to deal with those pirates but they've already been taken care of. Uh, I do have these uh, cavalry auxilla. I think these were a gift from the Senate. I'm gonna go ahead and get them say. over here and send them out. Do I have anybody else? No, just peasants. And get Ready them here. They'll be part of the rebel aye, aye, fight. Splitting dealing the with the rebels. Oh. And our great governor over here. He's going to be headed over to Thessalonica. Give us a little income boost. And as well as that, we're going to get a trader. And get our spy moving out. Moving. We'll take a look at Byzantium. They got some elite hoplites with uh, a lot of experience. In Corinth, I'm not going to build this practice range. I don't see any need to. Uh, but what I am going to do is take out this shrine to Zeus. I'm going to demolish it. And get a shrine. I'm going to get a shrine to Juno in Corinth. And in Kydonia we'll get a shrine to a, a temple to a temple of Mercury. I'm going to send this fleet over here to get this Cretan archer. Send them back. Aye, aye, Captain. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, more pirates going after us. Let's fight this. Hopefully our will be okay. Just an average victory. victory. And I think our Cretan archers will be safe. Fleet ready. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Alright, I'm gonna need to retrain this army up. We'll head out next turn for sure. We'll get a, another trireme. Alright, let's build something in our capital. I was thinking I was going to do the public bath, so let's go ahead and do that. And we got these troops here. We're going to go ahead and uh, hunt down some rebels. Send this governor with them. In uh, Sparta, I'm going to go ahead and get a sewers. Polonia, go ahead and get farms. Let's get Amulius Victor on the march. Onward. Move depleted, sir. And he could build a watchtower. We'll get his army to go and join him. Onward. Give him some Onward. more cavalry. Yeah, and in this city, I'm gonna get farms. Sir. I'm gonna have Galeris go over here and build a watchtower. And have him head Out back. Out of move, sir. He'll be back next turn. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Germania wants to do some trade rights. We're fine with that. We'll do that in exchange for map information. Nice. Alright, let's get our spy over here in Byzantium. Any hidden troops, but I don't see any. So let's get him in the city. Pretty big rebel city. Alright, let's get Amulius on the move. March! Out of move, sir. As well as his uh, backup troops. Forward! Moves depleted, sir. And get Galerius over here, back into Thessalonica. Start making us some money. Speaking of money, either we'll go with a market. All right, we're gonna get our faction leader to go on the boat to finally take out. Roads. Let's get all these guys in there too. As well as this. Let's see. Do we have more guys I want to send over? A couple more. Cavalry. I think that should be enough. But I can send these, uh, my second fleet back down here. There's no more pirates over here, so we'll send this fleet over here to take care of these. There's only a few guys on that ship anyway. So, okay, yeah, these guys are going to deal with the rebels. These rebels have been around for a long time. They're up in the mountains. They're hard to chase down. I'm going to get a trader in Athens. And get some sewers in Croton. Go on and build up some more forces here in Greece. And in Kydonia, I'm going to build the sewers. And just end my turn. I'm going to go ahead and merge these two armies up. And get my, another Hastati, I think. So we got a couple more turns before I can take Byzantium. We'll just have these guys tag along. Looks like there's a plague in Macedonia. Which is where here. So we've got a plague over here. We are plagued. Our governor is plagued. I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. I'm going to cancel my market 
and get a sewers instead. We have a negative 5.5% population growth. And uh, maybe lower the taxes so that not everybody dies. Let's get a sewers for our sanitation, increase public health, and hopefully this plague doesn't spread and my generals don't die. Okay, these uh, rebels are uh, very elusive. Um, I can't even reach them this turn. Oh, uh, we'll get a wooden palisade in Sparta. Kind of goes against the spirit of Sparta, but we're not Spartans, we're Romans. Finally sunk that pirate fleet. Alright, let's get this these guys to embark into Rhodes. And get our army out. And be like, surprise, Greece. Remember how you attacked us the other day without warning when we were allies? Or when we were just friends? Well, we're back. I guess we can't fight this turn. Maybe they will attack us instead. We do have one open slot. We've got a lot of Velites. we got two Velites. A lot of archers, so we'll get a hoplites. Go over here and just retrain that one. Well, I can retrain retrain most of them because they can get that experience. I kind of wanted to send Opius Brutus over here into the fight against Greece. I'll go ahead and do that, but we'll get him over here on this boat. I think he's pretty safe. <laughs> wonder if I can just stick him on an island. No, I can't. I think he's pretty safe. I don't see any more pirates out here. We've kind of taken care of all the pirates. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright. Uh, we're losing people due to the plague in Thessalonica. Including our general. He's not dead. And, uh, yeah, we're losing a lot of our peasants. We'll just continue on low taxes. We'll get the sewers to increase the healthiness. And hopefully that plague will go away without spreading too much. Right now it's just one city. And I'm going to do my big battle against Greece. Uh, we'll go ahead and just head straight into this big army over here. And hit them head on. Uh, they'll be reinforced by their city. So we've got their faction leader. And they've got over here, so a lot of cavalry, a lot of uh, hoplites, and a few missile guys. Same with over here. Uh, we have our faction leader who's not the best commander. He's kind of new to battle. Uh, I think he's fought some rebels, but that's about it. So this will be his first major battle. Let's uh, hope he does well. Brave warriors! I have won great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the heavens of a lifetime today. There stand the Greeks, ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. That army comprises a full quarter of our foe's warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women, beardless youths, and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. 
We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. The auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing can be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all we can do for her. Then we will do our duty to Roman honor! The enemy have brought up more men. Alright, so I was going to try to take this hill over here. This little tiny small hill. It looks like it's kind of on the edge of the battle map. And they've got their reinforcements right here. Um, so we'll have to go and hit their reinforcements first. So this is going to be a very interesting battle. Let's get our hoplites out of that formation. And get our guys fire at will. We're going to have all of our infantry. Going to just go ahead and charge right out the gate. Double time. We're going to make sure our missiles, they're not going to, not going to give them any order. They should just start firing right away. And we'll get our cavalry to try to take this middle ground as fast as possible. And yeah, get our missiles to start firing as soon as they step in. Uh, this army only has one hoplites, so we'll try to take out our hoplites with our missiles, and then we'll send our cavalry just to charge in right away. They have their missile cavalry, but we have our equites. Let's go. This is going to be chaotic. Very chaotic start. Okay, get our missiles to target them. Cavalry... As soon as they cross the line here, I'm going to go after their missile infantry. I'm going to go ahead and charge them as well. The cavalry, go ahead and charge these guys. I'm going to get a general up on this hill. we got to watch out from behind because they are coming. Get those guys. And get some cavalry to support over here. See what's going on over here. Uh, just a flurry of arrows. Missiles. Gonna halt. Cease fire. Cease fire. Missiles. Just line up here. Just go here. Let our infantry do the fight. Okay, we've got a guy already retreating. It's their faction leader hitting us big time. We got a rally. Rally. Everybody just hit their faction leader. Charge, archers and all. We already rallied. The Hastadis are running. Faction leaders retreating. What a mess. We got him. Alright, let's get our infantry. Double time. Line up. Cavalry. Get up here on this hill where I wanted you. This is a crazy battle. And missiles. Get up here as well. And we're all winded already. 
So everybody stop running. Infantry just line up over here. Alright, I don't think they're coming after us because we're the attackers. They're just marching up slowly in formation. Oh, they are. They are coming. So, missiles double time. Get up on that hill. Yeah, everybody up on that hill. Infantry line up as well. Double time. I'm going to get my cavalry to strike right away. I think they're going to be winded too because they're running at us. Let's go. Get my general over here to help out my infantry. Let's take out their general. Good, he's retreated already. We got cavalry over here. You need to help out. Okay, they're doing all right against their missile cav. Be praised. The enemy's general is killed. Yeah. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. All right. This is a messy battle. And what are our missiles doing? They're not even firing? No one's in range? That's surprising. Oh, because I told them to I disabled fire at will. Oh, okay. Let's just form up, protect the archers. Infantry will protect the archers. Get away from those hoplites, please. Okay, you go flanking them, flanking this hoplites. What do we got over here? Hastati, Hastati, get back up on the hill. Get up on the hill. Okay, I gotta focus on this cavalry. Take out this hoplites. All right, all these guys are firing at will, yes. We're pretty protected on our hill. And we can focus on cavalry. Line up. Alright, yes. And our archers are firing. Our Hastati are throwing their, their javelins. Get into formation. Okay, get this unit over here. This unit over here. General over here. You guys over here. Charge over here. General, go. They're routed. We're charging in hoplites. Oh, my faction leader. Be careful of my faction leader. Got to keep him out of the fray. These hoplites are fighting pretty well. And we're defending this hill. Okay, we got those guys to route. Let's go over here. Double time. Faction leader. Yes, we are defending pretty well. Okay, these guys in their hoplite formation. Okay, charge. Charge them from the side. Hit them from the side. General, just kind of stay around. You guys... Oh, they're chart. Rally, rally. Rally. Over here, run. Rally over here. These are just militia hoplites. Why are they routing? Uh, my general's not very experienced. That's why. He doesn't have a lot of stars. I'm used to having Amulius Victor fight these big battles. I'm doing it with a less experienced general and we're routing to some very weak troops ok 
Okay, let's see if we can hit these guys in the back. There, we got them to route this time. Nice. Alright. No more head-on charges into hot plates, please. My, I don't need to worry about these guys too much. They're on the hill. They're defending. They're doing fine. I just want to get these guys to... There's just too many of them. Can I just get my cavalry back? How many? What's the kill ratio? 54% versus our 24. Alright, they're starting to route. We can get a mass route soon, I think. Our miss missile guys are doing a number on them. Let's rest our cavalry up. Yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. Let's get them back. Let's get our cavalry back. I don't want these guys to escape. Let's get our infantry to charge. This, they, there we go. They've routed. Let me show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. So they'll probably head back to Rhodes, and we'll have to end up doing a siege. But at least we've killed a lot of them. Uh, 61%. So, and we'll get some more. And the siege won't be so bad. Hopefully we can hire some mercenaries to take care of some of our losses. Well, actually not a bad victory. We lost almost 600 guys. Mostly were equites. Um, it started off really quick with the way that the battle map was. And with me trying to take the uh, hill there on the side of the map. And just started off quick. And was mostly just, I was just mostly defending with my infantry. Uh, missiles did a, um, just an amazing job. Let's see. Cretian archers, 51 kills, 0 losses. Cretian archers, 45 kills, 0 losses. We had Equites kill 422. Our general had zero losses. Oh no, general lost 23 guys and inflicted 319 casualties. But only one Equites got actually got experience, so that's kind of a bummer. But a uh, pretty good battle, big battle, and a very difficult, challenging one. Yep, they're going to go back into Rhodes. Victory! And I will merge up my guys. Only two Equites left. I wish there was some cavalry I could... Well, for a siege battle, I guess uh, I don't really need cavalry. So, supplement my guys with some missile units. And just go ahead and build some rams here. It's just wooden walls. And uh, can I? Wonder if I can sneak. I'm wondering if I can sneak my other general into their territory and get him to join. No. But if he gets attacked, he'll be reinforcing them. So that's good. I'm going to go over here and um, blockade Pergamum. 
And looks like uh, Aulis Brutus, our faction leader, got an extra command star for that battle. Pretty good. And uh, siege uh, a lot of wounded guys. Um, shouldn't be too bad. A couple of hoplites, but shouldn't be too bad. All right. Well, that was our first battle. We got another battle to do over in Byzantium. We'll see if uh, we can get them to open the gates. Uh, the wooden walls are damaged. I wonder if they've had rioting, but we can't. We don't have the gates open. Lucas, Luca Antonius wasn't able to open the gates. Well, maybe next turn. Let's get our backup army over here. Uh, Kydonia. I think I will get a market over here. Sparta. We'll get the Legion barracks. Okay, will I finally be able to attack these uh, peasants? These rebels? We'll see. These guys should be pretty simple. I'm going to stick my dogs on them. All right, they're lined up down the hill. We've got a lot of cavalry, some hoplites. Let's get my my cavalry over here to flank them. We'll send my infantry up to the hill. Um, I want to try to get my war dogs to hit them. Not from the. I don't want to hit them head on. Actually, we'll send the war dogs over here. And just get my missiles to hit their, maybe their hoplites. And over here, we'll uh, hit their uh, cavalry auxilla. See how that works out. I want to, yeah, I want to unleash my war dogs probably on their their missile troops. I don't want to get too close. Let's go ahead and just go after their guys. We'll distract them and then send our war dogs over here. Our study to fire at will. And get the war dogs. After their peltists. Let's see, are they gonna send the dogs straight away? And yeah, get my Hastati over here, double time. And cavalry, let's do some flanking, double time. All right, here goes the war dogs. All right, infantry charge. Oh, my war dogs are routed already. sure he's not in the thick of it press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too uh, looks like he's gonna get away all right lost 73 guys under what I lost the most I didn't lose any war dogs they just fled after they released their dogs I lost mostly was equites kind of charged at them right away Alright, Titus, you've got another group of rebels to deal with over here. Oh, uh, looks like I can't build anything, Larissa. Ah, but Croton, we'll get something here. I'm gonna get crop rotation in Croton. Try to increase the population of my. Roman cities. 
I'm gonna get a, a Equites in Corinth, and I think I'm gonna try to send him over General. to Titus. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Ah, Greece wants a ceasefire. Uh, nope. We want Rhodes. Oh, okay. Thrace wants trade rights. We want that too. Let's see if they'll give us map information. Nice. All right. Uh, we're losing more people in Thessalonica. I'm going to get farming in Thessalonica. And this city will get roads. And Titus Brutus, you're going to continue to bust uh, rebels. I'm going to go and s I'm going to see if I'm going to see if Aulus can attack this Greek army rather than do the siege. We'll try that first. We should be able to take them and their reinforcements as well. I'm going to see if I can control Opius. I don't want him charging in there and getting killed. Okay, it looks like we got our reinforcements. Their reinforcements are right behind us. So again, this is going to be a little bit of a crazy battle. Uh, they've got their general's bodyguards and some hoplites. The hoplites might slow them down. So I can go ahead and just take on their infantry over here. Reinforcements, Reinforcements have arrived! But are they in time to take part in the battle? Alright, let's go ahead and take on their reinforcements first. Hopefully these guys won't be able to get here in time. Let's go double time. Uh, these guys are a little bit exposed. Let's uh, get them back off. Alright. Uh, missile cavalry. I'd like to take them on. Our cow, our missile guys. Double time over here. All right, what are they going? This is gonna be another crazy battle. Let's take on their missile cab first. Form up. Form up. Let's go hoplite formation. Hoplite formation. Get our cavalry to take on their missile calves. And we got these guys. Where are you going, Hastati? Just form up like this. Okay, get our cavalry over here. Go, go, go. What are you doing, Hastati's? Help out. Help out. Attack. Attack. Make sure my generals are doing okay. Okay, they're routed. Let's go over here, attack these hoplites. Make sure my cavalry's okay. How about their reinforcements? They're slowly coming. Alright, this is going well. This is going very well. Oh, what are these guys? How'd they get over here? How'd they get behind me? They must have rallied. They must have rallied. The gods who fill the heart of the enemy. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Alright. Infantry line up. You got you got another threat coming. Alright, missiles line up. Just attack. Just attack. Cavalry hit their flank. Yeah. 
And get my infantry, I mean get my cavalry to support. Missiles are already firing. Infantry, just line up. Okay, here they come, charging. No, they're not charging. They're faking a charge. Our missiles are doing quite a number on them. I want to cut off their escape with my cavalry if possible. Get my infantry to just charge. We gotta take out their bodyguard. Okay, missiles. Halt. Just attack. Melee attack. I don't want them to actually melee attack, but it's the quickest way to get them to cease fire. Okay, got their general. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our And I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, 84%. I wonder how many the gods in that other praised. army escaped. The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now if they, they If we killed enough in that first killed enough of their reinforcements to get them to to get the city without a siege. That's always the goal with these uh, city attacks or attacking units outside of their city. Alright, they do have 165 guys remaining. So we'll see, and that's mostly in their reinforcements. We killed their entire first army. Let's see if they. The city will be ours. It is! Alright, we're gonna take Rhodes and we should. We'll enslave the population. And. There we go, the mission was complete. Interesting, mercenary hoplites. Those are the exotic units? I thought we'd get elephants or something. Wow, Colossus of Rhodes increased to naval trade by 40%. That is massive. That's going to really help our economy. Not that our economy is doing bad. We have tons of money. And did our faction leader get another star? No, he didn't. But he is now a vanquisher. So he's going to... Get some more influence, I think. No, it's not influence. It's just popularity with the Senate. And the people. Alright, Omulus, Omulus Victor's turn. And the spies did get the gates open. Let's go ahead and just take this city really quick. Alright, I got my armies divided into two different sides, and I've got the reinforcements gonna hit them from the back. I definitely want to move out quickly because uh, I don't want my reinforcements to get all killed. And they've left this gate completely unmanned. Let's just get everybody in here. So even though we're hitting them from multiple sides, we're all we're converging on this corner over here. Our reinforcements, though, are hitting them from this side. Okay, Velites come first. Okay, good. You throw. Just attack. Everybody get in there as quickly as possible, including my general. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, we're stuck in these gates. There's my general just being like, Excuse me, pardon me, I'm the general. Let me through, let me through. Go, go, go. And they're all just squeezing through those gates. Alright, everybody attack! Even the missile guys just do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, are my allies... 
reinforcements going to be able to take these hoplites? Hey, these are the good hoplites, I think. Get their velites on them, huh? Uh, let's get some of our hoplites. Attack these guys. Instead of velites. Do I have anybody that can help? Charge! Go, go, go. And here these hoplites are holding out. Standing firm. Is there more guys? I think there's more people somewhere. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's I see unbelief. some more guys on the map. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Charge, you guys. Never mind my equity's charge. Uh, everybody don't charge. Please. Uh. Wow, who's that? That's my reinforcements general. He's over there just hacking away. Hacking away at these guys. Look at him. All by himself. Oh, he's got some Velotes friends. But he's just hacking away at him by himself. Way to lead the charge, General. I think I want to give him a promotion. I hope he... I don't know. I don't think you can get a man of the hour if you're the reinforcing army. And you're not controlling them. I don't know. Maybe you can't. But he is, like, single-handedly taking out, like, multiple hoplites by himself. That is really cool. Way to go, General. Or Captain. Yeah! Kid, I got another one. Oh, he's shining. He's shining and got stars around him. Oh, he's just stabbing people in the back. Get him. Oh, another guy goes down. This general's like single-handedly, I mean this captain single-handedly taken out like five guys so far that I've seen. The gods be praised! Nice. Okay, we lost 326. Kind of bad, but again, it's a siege, and I was just in a hurry and I rushed everybody in there too quickly. If I take my time, maybe I could have lost less guys, but I didn't really care. I have a whole unit of backup. I mean and then I'll be able to retrain a lot of my guys, so... Alright, I'm gonna go and first thing I'm gonna do... Oh, we don't even have a shrine. I need to repair the walls. And let's get a shrine to Juno. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye!